Hi there, welcome back to the 12 days of Christmas in July here at our little handmade home. It's day 11, we've got one more to go after today. However, you're going to absolutely love today's project. You can see it behind me, it's the cute little pinwheel cushion covers and they're just a snap to make. So let's get started. All right, let's get going with day 11. This is our pinwheel pillow cover. So I dug around into my stash of Christmas fabric and I found this really fun fabric that I had bought quite some time ago. And I really love how these colors play together and having this turquoisey color, the teal color kind of blends in with my decor. So I'm super excited to make these. What I have already done is I've gone ahead and I've trimmed this fabric so I've created one 20 inch square of each of the fabrics, which you can see here. I have layered them right sides together and I have stitched all four edges, okay? So that it's stitched all the way around, there's no openings. Because what I really wanna show you is how I'm going to cut this in just four cuts to create my pinwheels. So as I said, these squares are 20 inches. So I'm going to mark this at 5 and at 2 so that you can see what I'm cutting here. I don't want to go off the screen, okay? So that puts 15 in the middle and it also puts 12 in the middle. So the 12 inch line and the 15 inch line are my middle. So I'm going to start by making one cut in each direction. So I'm gonna cut straight up here. Okay, the next cut that I'm gonna make is on the diagonal. This is too short. And what I can do, in fact, is take these two pieces, put them together, line them up this way, and then these two pieces line them up this way okay so make sure that you're cutting through the corner where the stitching meets and the corner where there is no stitching so that you know that you're cutting them in the right place line them up you can use the lines on your mat or not we're just going to be going from that corner to that corner. Okay, make sure that you get your points just right. Okay, I'm gonna put those there. And then same thing with here. See how there's the two rows of stitching meet there and there's no stitching at this corner. Now you certainly can use your diagonal line on your mat if you want to. So once all of your triangles are cut, we're gonna open them up. Now I'm gonna be pressing everything towards the dark fabric. It doesn't matter which way you press, just make sure that you're doing the same direction. So as you open them up, you're gonna see that half your pieces will have the dark fabric on the left and half of them will have the dark on the right. That's how you separate them out to make your two cushions. Okay, and then once you have them separated, set one grouping aside, and after you've pressed them, they're gonna lay out this way. So just make sure that no two edges of the same fabric are touching. and that's your cushion cover. So we're gonna go ahead and press out our seams. And then what you're gonna do is you'll sew 
this edge and this edge. And then when you open it back up, you'll sew it along here. And then we're gonna make a simple envelope closure for the back. So we'll be back with that. So as you can see, I have put my pillow tops together. I have both of them. The other one is just off to the side. Once you have them sewn together, square them up. They should be 18 and a half inches at this point. And then this is the fabric that I have for my backing. Now, normally I say to cut 18 and a half wide by 15 long, just to give a lot of coverage. I didn't have that much fabric, so I cut what I could. My pieces here are actually 11 and a half, so that's not too bad. If you, if you look at how this is gonna go together, and of course this fabric isn't directional at all, which I love. Even once I put my small hem on it, it's there's still going to be enough of a crossover here that the pillows aren't going to show. So as always, go ahead and fold this down. If you if you have a very small piece of fabric, fold it a quarter of an inch and then over again, put a top stitch on both pieces and then stitch it all the way around. We'll do that and we'll be back with the finished product. Thanks again for joining me for day 11 of the 12 days of Christmas in July here at our little handmade home. I can't believe we're almost there. Tomorrow is going to be a good one. As always, links are down below for anything that you need from this video, and I will link to the projects that came before this, days 1 through 10. I'm so glad that you're here with me. We're almost there, and I'll see you tomorrow.